Hi, my name is John Lawson and I am JDL Consulting and uh, I'm here today to discuss your past, present and future in the shipping industry and to let you know that DHL can once again be the leader in the shipping industry. Um, I am a high paid consultant because I get results. If you listen to what I have to say and make changes accordingly, DHL will once again be a competitive leader in the industry. <clears throat> First, DHL has had a rapid expansion in both business and service network. Initially, DHL provided only mail delivery service, yet parcel delivery service <clears throat> was added in the 1970s. Moreover, the service network of DHL has been widened, uh, comparing to its beginning only business region in the USA. In 1970s, DHL expanded uh, its business to Japan, Hong Kong, Singapore, uh, and Australia, while in uh, 1999, DHL invested more than 1 billion euros in uh, Europe and Africa for uh, advances in uh, transport network. Um, in 2003, uh, DHL acquired uh, Airborne Express and became the third largest express service provider in the USA. Um, let's see, uh, currently uh, the uh, international transport network of DHL covers more than 220 countries and I know you know that. Um, and this gets into my advice. Um, if you follow my advice, I can make DHL the leading shipping uh, company in the industry. Uh, I asked 25 people uh, just yesterday to name the top two shipping companies that they could think of, and DHL, your company, was uh, the least mentioned behind FedEx, UPS, and the Postal Service. Um, and this is... Uh, not necessarily a transportation graph uh, or monetary graph, but uh, this is uh, basically DHL's popularity or lack thereof. And uh, part of uh, why I'm speaking to you is to uh, help your company make more money, earn more revenue, uh, expand services, and uh, DHL's popularity with young people uh, is a really great place to start. Uh, so uh, basically what this graph shows is uh, fans, followers, and subscribers uh, to online areas uh, within um, certain companies. Uh, this first one being UPS right here um, at 383,000 or so. Uh, the next one uh, is uh, FedEx at about 376,000. And uh, then you got DHL and USPS on the other side of the graph representing a very small portion of uh, um, popularity between transportation companies. Um, okay, um, uh, U USPS, UPS, excuse me, leads the logistics uh, companies when it comes to content creation and uh, is the most prolific uh, on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Each day they post uh, about two Facebook posts. Um, uh, DHL uh, is maximizing their sponsorship of uh, Manchester United on YouTube and uh, uploads plenty of data. Um, USPS has a relatively high growth rate, which is all the more surprising when you see how little uh, they are posting on the internet. And again, uh, the changes that I want to speak with uh, you, DHL, today, uh, their connection to their popularity with young people on the internet uh, is is integral. It's all the same thing. If you can grow in popularity uh, and positivity in the minds of young people, uh, your company will do better um, and be more utilized in the future by people uh, choosing to ship goods with your with your company. Um, now this graph shows uh, DHL uh, revenue segments uh, in millions of euros. Um, and uh, let's see. It's important to note that uh, while DHL clearly generates more revenue than uh, all three companies. Uh, roughly one quarter of its total uh, currently comes from the mail segment, which functions more like uh, US's USPS uh, within Germany. So they're doing really good, DHL is doing really good there. Um, while both FedEx and UPS do provide services that are entrenched with the USPS, um, it is of interest to exclude uh, the DHL mail line item uh, for comparative uh, purposes. Um, all right, so uh, we get to uh, the first of two two points. Um, 
issues, critical areas of which uh, I, I can help DHL with. Uh, if you follow my advice, I can make DHL uh, the leader in the shipping industry. Uh, the first issue to address is your liability insurance. Um, when people go to ship something to mom, to dad, to the brother overseas, uh, to Florida, East Coast, West Coast, they just want the darn thing to get there. They want it to get there and they want to know if it doesn't get there, maybe it's an heirloom, it's something important, something of value. They want to know that, that they're going to be compensated for that, that they're okay. Uh, there are lots of insurances in our day-to-day -day, uh, lives these days and uh, you certainly don't want to worry about something going from point A to point B and uh, you know you ship something that's ten thousand dollars and you're only gonna get two thousand dollars back it, that, that, that can't be what DHL is doing so um, what you need to do is improve your liability insurance um, you're earning just as much if not more than the other companies that uh, I've been speaking of um, and if you would just improve it a little bit you, you could be more competitive um, DHL is lacking in good liability insurance the Visby amendment uh, which is an updated version of the Hague rules which were drafted in uh, uh, 1924 um, I think the United States should have adopted the 1968 Visby amendment which is a set of international rules for the carriage of goods by sea the discontentment with the ancient law of the sea for cargo liability, combined with the advent of containerism and use of multimodal arrangements, led shippers' demands to modernize the Hague Rules. That's from uh, page 203 of Transportation, Logistics, and Law. Uh, the laws that were written uh, were written to try to improve and protect uh, shippers, uh, which generally have had less protection from carriers, uh, which is the good part of the law. Um, the laws imposed more liabilities on common carriers, which gave the shippers a certain dollar amount of liability per package. Many times the dollar amount of liability coverage does not equal what the shipments are typically worth, uh, but any improvement in coverage for the shippers is a good one. The Visby Amendment attempted to correct the imbalance in the ship shipping of goods uh, by sea. One obvious issue that exists with the Visby Amendment is that there is a limited dollar amount of available liability, which is not current with the shipments in today's world. Um, again, to get goods from point A to point B and to be a better company, uh, to do better with young people, DHL needs uh, better liability coverage. Um, I'm, I'm going to read uh, from uh, somebody's uh, personal experience. Uh, below is a, a, I'm about to read a, a very negative shipping experience that uh, some, someone had, some people had have had recently with DHL that explains why liability coverage must improve for your company uh, to succeed. Um, and again, this is in the words of somebody else. Um, over the years, I've certainly had my fair share of bad experiences with both UPS and FedEx, but for me, personally, no delivery company has been worse on a regular basis than DHL. Almost every time I've had to deal with a company, the experience has been somewhere between bad and ridiculous. And I've heard similar stories from friends as well, from undelivered packages to crushed packages, even to a story of a phone shipped via DHL that arrived with a box torn open and the phone missing. It appears that we individuals aren't alone in our annoyances with DHL. Um, the next part is a, it has to speak with uh, uh, Microsoft's experience, uh, recent experience with DHL. Um, Certainly, that's not a company you want to upset. And if you get get in a better, get on better terms with Microsoft, uh, it creates more business all around. Um, Microsoft um, is uh, now, as you well know, is now suing DHL for how it dealt with a uh, a shipment of Xboxes that were on a train that derailed. Um, consider this a scaled up version of the old crushed box delivery that you or might. I might be used to. Um, apparently the train had something like six containers filled with uh, brand new expensive uh, Xboxes um, and, and uh, the train crashed and all six cars of very expensive brand new top of the line Xboxes were damaged. Uh, uh, UDHL uh, refused to pay for the damages 
of the missing Xbox, Xboxes that didn't make the rest of the journey and the ones that were damaged. Uh, that's an issue. Um, other companies, uh, the other companies in the shipping industry that are being chosen before UDHL uh, have better liability coverage and not all of them have the revenue earnings that DHL has. So spend the money, get the better coverage, advertise it, get it out there, get the young people to hear it, get it on social media. Uh, it won't be wasted money. Um, to reiterate, give your shippers better liability coverage of shipped goods and business will improve. Better insurance equals better business. All right, the second thing that I'd like to speak about uh, has to do with uh, what DHL uh, is not necessarily messing up. This is something that you guys are doing a very good job of uh, in terms of uh, comparing to the other, uh, other um, transportation companies, but it's certainly something that you're doing well, so uh, I'm here to say invest more time and money in that because um, it's working. Um, uh, DHL can compete directly with FedEx uh, if it were to invest more of its profits that you're making uh, into becoming more multimodal. Um, this is something that DHL already does fairly well, but should be improved upon if the company truly wants to excel and, and set itself uh, to a higher standard with uh, the other companies. Um, right here is good. Multimodal uh, arrangements are a wave of the future. Um, multimodal arrangements along with containerization have revolutionized the entire transportation industry. Um, you know that. They have made transportation of goods from water to land into a seamless transition that saves time, money, and improves efficiency all across the board. Uh, not much bad to say about it in terms of uh, uh, seamless transition, time and money saved. Uh, they are the wave of the future and can be largely beneficial to DHL's success. Take these suggestions seriously, invest the time and money, and your company uh, will uh, do well. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, multimodal arrangements have made uh, the transportation of uh, water and goods uh, into uh, what it is now and what can be in the future. And since DHL already does a, a good job with uh, containerization, um, my su second suggestion is is uh, let's focus on that. Better liability coverage, get it out there. Second thing, multimodal arrangements, invest more time and money into, uh, into saving more time and money, and uh, DHL uh, will excel. Again, I'm from JDL Consulting. Thank you for your time.